It is time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. Today we are joined by Chef Eric Donnelly, and he is the owner of several restaurants. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Including Rock Creek Seafood and Spirits and Flint Creek Cattle Co. and Bar Sewer Mare. Now, talk to us a little bit about what we're going to be making today. Well, I've got two dishes we're going to set up today. Uh, one is this beautiful little mushrooms with uh, caramelized honey, white balsamic, and a little bit of truffle oil. So we can't figure out who's the star of the show, if it's the mushrooms or if it's the uh, little, we call it the hungo hooch. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? Because well, it's just mushroom <laughs> hooch, basically, uh, which everybody likes to drink at the end of it. It's sure. like crazy. People are okay. like with the bowl oh uh, doing that whole shebang. And then we're going to do some clams, little Baron Point Manila clams mm -hmm. with caramelized shallots, um, sherry, and this chorizo butter. There's no <gasps> actual meat in it, so oh. it's just chorizo spices, so it's a pescatarian friendly dish. Oh, no wonderful. But just those rich, beautiful flavors of Spanish chorizo. And, and I love all the colors. I too. know. Tell us all about Barça Mare. Well, I went to Spain uh, a few years ago and it was a super cool experience and I kind of fell in love with the um, spirit of going out and drinking, but not like American drinking, you know? Yeah, uh, not binge drinking. Just having a couple <laughs> cocktails and eating really good food. And so I wanted to bring those kind of two things together in this little bar concept. Um, and I had a space that we were using as a storage over in Greenwood and uh, sketched it up on a piece of paper and sent it um, pre-COVID and then after COVID we were able to open and here we are. Now before we get started, tell us a little bit about your other restaurants as well. So this is year 10 of my first restaurant called Rock Creek Seafood over in Fremont. Um, yeah. And it's crazy that it's 10 years, but that's a, a full on uh, globally sourced uh, seafood restaurant. So we have fish from all over the world, clams, mussels, octopus, shellfish, mackerel, you name it if it swims. No salmon, no halibut, just because mm -hmm. I'm from here and I want people to explore other things. Um, and then I've got another place over in Greenwood called Flint Creek Cattle Company. At that restaurant, we serve more meat and game, um, well-sourced, small production animals. Okay, wonderful. Yep. All right, well, uh, you are also uh, recognized both locally and nationally. How does that feel? It has to feel good. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the phone call one day that I was getting uh, nominated for a James Beard Award, and I swear I was like sitting around the house in the morning. I was like, you have the wrong person. Oh. Um, but it was really cool. It's very, uh, I feel very blessed to be where I'm at in my career. That has to feel good and to have a restaurant that's open for 10 years. I know it's hard to even make it there one year a lot of the time for restaurants, so that's yeah. really impressive. Yeah. Well, it's not just me, it's the staff of and course. the trickle down effect of, yeah. of the people that work for me that actually make up uh, the restaurant. Because it's not me every night going like, okay, let me cook for everybody. Yeah. It's really been past the baton and they've kind of gotten it and, and carried the, uh, the torch. But we are lucky because you are cooking for us today. Yeah. Let's Do get started. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to start this little clam dish here. Um, we've got these Baron Point Manila clams. We're going to start with these caramelized shallots in the hot pot. Love a caramelized anything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Deep, beautiful flavor. And then we're going to add our clams in. And we've got a little bit of Spanish sherry right here. Cool. We're going to add a little bit of our chorizo butter in as well right now. And the idea is that the clam juice, the sherry, the butter is all going to emulsify and make this beautiful little sauce. So while those are going, I'm going to pop a lid on those. And at the same time, we are going to start up our mushrooms. So we've got these little cremini mushrooms, nothing special, no chanterelles, porcinis or any of that. Just well done. Again, caramelized. I like a basic uh, mushroom sometimes, you know? It's good. I do too. It's tasty. It's, that's why we ended up doing these. Yeah. We were like, should we do, um, you know, uh, chanterelles or whatever the case is? And I was like, you know, if, if it's just a old-fashioned cremini mushroom done well, yeah. caramelized, mm -hmm. got light, uh, lots of depth of flavor. Um, yeah. We love them. It works. Is that a flaky salt you just used, too? I did. A little Maldon oh. salt from... Everyone brings in that delicious uh, salt, and I just you always think, I gotta get some. <laughs> well, you can have this one. Uh. <laughs> All right, so we've got our little plates here, and the mushrooms goes very quick. It's just a little quick plate up. And again, here's our caramelized honey, white balsamic business. We've got a little chives for the top of that. And is that like a dipping sauce? Well, or you'll you see drizzle. when it goes in, you, yeah, yeah. Just, you want to get in there, swirl it around, and, okay. awesome. and go with it. So that's that. Let's check in on our clams. Clams are going good. Roll that around. And um, yeah, so here we are. Awesome. When we finish the clams, we're going to have a little bit of this green garbanzo um, spread that goes on a piece of grilled okay. bread. 
Okay. We're going to finish it with some fresh lime mm. and a little bit of lime leaf oil. So we've taken uh, the lime leaves and we spin it with olive oil and it just gets a nice little drizzle around the finish. I didn't know if that was wasabi. It looks very bright it's green. Very bright. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. So it's chickpeas, huh? Yeah. And we also have some jamon iberico here. What is this about? Well, I brought it for you guys to try. Oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> this is the real deal jamon iberico. It's sliced very thin and it almost mm -hmm. melts on the palate if you want to jump in. I will and jump in there. And, and you know, good. before we started, um, we were talking about time spent in Spain and, you know, this is just kind of a fun thing to, to munch on. Ow. I should have brought a bottle of wine. <laughs> you should but, have. Well, it's a little early, but you know. You when know. I think of Spain, mm. I think of going out to eat at like 11 mm. p.m. It was. A v I remember going right. out and them saying, "Come back later. Come back oh, later. Yeah. Dinner hasn't started yet." All day experience. <laughs> I feel like I was just kind of eating like little bits. All the time. All yeah. The time. Little tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's kind of what the uh, the bar is all about. It's that kind of spirit of like let's have a couple plates. Let's not get full. Let's enjoy ourselves and friends and company and conversation. I love that. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Nice. So, clams rolling along pretty good here, starting to open up. I was going to ask, is that the trick? you got to heat them up so they'll open? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if you see in here, we've got this nice little sauce. It's all starting mm -hmm. to come together. Mm -hmm. Smells, Smells amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. Love that. Our mushrooms are almost there. Beautiful. Yeah. This really just looks amazing. It smells so amazing, too. Get these going while... Mm -hmm. The clams are finishing. Mm -hmm. I'm always impressed by the theatrics of chefs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throwing it up and then the catching it and the flames. Well, the theatrics part came from a, a stint <laughs> as a breakfast cook coming ah, up. Okay. Uh, you got to learn how to flip eggs. So that's the that's deal there. true. That's true. Uh, have you ever dropped any food doing that, oh my though? God. Uh, yeah. Of course yeah. not. <laughs> oh, this, everything's perfect in restaurants, I oh, swear good, to God. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. So this is that honey balsamic oh, sauce. Oh, it's insane. It smells so good. I wish y'all could smell this right now. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what's going on there. And then we're just going to add a little bit of chives over the top. Love mm -hmm. a chive. Cool. <gasps> and some of this molding beautiful flaky yes. salt. Yes. Cool. And we just pop a couple little picks in on the side. Okay. Awesome. And those are meant to just grab a little pick, swirl it around, and have at it. All okay. right. Let's give that a try. Hmm. All righty. So it looks like we have about 30 seconds left. Um, so we'll... Mm. Oh, my gosh. The honey. Mm. The honey. Good, mm. good, good. Huh? I can taste the truffle in that, too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So here's our clams. I'm going to try one of these real quick before we go, guys. Tossing it over to Carly. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Eric Donnelly, thank you so much. Thank you. As she tries this right here, we've posted a link for more info on his restaurants on our website, fox13seattle.com slash tv13live. Awesome. <laughs>